So this is a review for the 2014 movie Tapped Out, starring, written, and produced by Cody Hackman, and it features UFC stars Krzysztof Zinski, Leota Machida, and Anderson Silva. The movie is about a high school kid who has to complete community service at a dojo. And his principal is played by Martin Cove. If you don't know why that is funny, one, I hate you, and two, watch my review Karate Kid tomorrow. If nobody sweeps the leg in this movie, I'm going to be highly disappointed. Just 12 minutes into the movie, we get a wax on, wax off reference, so I'll take it. So, he goes to an MMA fight and sees Krzysztof Zizinski's tattoos and realizes that he's the man who killed his parents. So, he's going to become an MMA fighter and beat him up. He tries to go to the police, twice actually, but he's a complete fucking moron about it. He just runs in and says, I know who committed a crime. Like, what? Why won't you help me? And then runs away. Like, dude, sit down, ask for a detective. Use some common fucking sense. I know you're a high schooler, but Jesus Christ, dude. So he starts to fall for the karate dojo owner's niece. And she figures everything out about him using bookface, search.com, and news.com. Yes, I said book face. He tells her everything that's going on and that Szynski's the murderer. He tells uh, the dojo owner, who says, well, if you want to fight him for some odd reason, so just have him arrested, that's fine. But don't kill him. Killing's wrong. The rest of the movie's training montages with Anderson Silver and Lloyd of Machida. And then fights with a whole bunch of no-name MMA guys. Uh, the fights all last about 30 seconds, except for the final fight, when he finally gets to fight Szynski. It thankfully does involve a leg sweep. Uh, and, yeah, of course he wins. Tells the crowd before the fight that the guy's a murderer who killed his parents, and no one seems to really care. Uh, they just think it's a cool story. Like, murderer, eh, don't care, uh, you guys still gonna fight in like an hour? Cool. And, I mean, it's a decent fight. All the people in this are real MMA guys, so the fights are well done. Uh, overall, I mean, it's a pretty boring movie. A lot of build-up, and then a long training montage, and a long fight montage of like 30 second fights. Sadly, Martin Cove doesn't get to do much in this movie. He has, like, two scenes and never even stands up. Uh, the acting is pretty bad. Uh, he, the main character ends up with the dojo owner's niece, and the bad guy gets arrested. And that's about it. I mean, things are resolved, and... It's a movie. I mean, if you really want to watch, like, the last fight scene, it's maybe worth the time, but the movie overall is not worth watching. There's a lot of similar movies to this. Um, revenge fight movies where a run-down guy becomes the trainer of a young kid. It's been done a bunch of times, and this movie doesn't bring anything new. Uh, thank you for watching, and as always, I shall try to do better next time.